This, you may be seated. <laughs> By the way, how are you doing tonight? Yeah. Not a bad way to spend a Saturday night. Yeah. You know? When this all started, it was clear to us through a series of miracles. Anyone believe in miracles? Say yeah. yeah. Okay, God began to do certain things that only God can do. How many know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And it's happened in your life as well as ours. When these things happen, you know there is a purpose. 25 years later, and it was just, you know, I hadn't thought about this in 20 years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, 19. And then, I love it. And I heard the Lord begin to work in this area. I called Bob and he said, you know, that's, that's really interesting. And then I talked to each one of these guys. Every single guy in this band has had some kind of word of encouragement from a man of God or a vessel. Are you with me? That indicated that we were supposed to get back together. And I thought, God, but why? I mean, why now? I mean, we're old guys. <laughs> Not that old. I speak for myself, right? Stand up, Mickey. Let me see you. She's... We don't have to age, do we? See, now that's the reason why the soul does not age. Do you know that? The, soul, the body, hey. But the, somebody say, yeah. But the soul, you know, you still think, well, man, I'm still 18. Then you go out and try to do something when you're 18, and you're like, you hurt yourself. You say, that ain't going to do that again. But this is different. And when the Lord began to clearly show us this was something to do, and he, he, he answered this question, and I said, why now? And the answer was because there are prodigals. There are thousands, maybe tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of prodigals that have been lost along the way. They know God. They've had an experience with God, but they're mad. Anybody been there? Hmm. Don't raise your hand. <laughs> and... Um, because things don't always work out the way that you plan them to. But see, Jesus never said it would be easy. He said, I will be with you. Yeah, right. And there's always a test that God puts us through. And when we pass that test, we get promoted to the next test. <laughs> and then the next test. Are you with me? Yeah. But there's a part of music that was born 40 years ago during the Jesus movement that reached millions of people, many of which today I believe are prodigals. They're not plugged in, they don't have support groups, they're out there being picked off. And I believe that the Lord wants us to go out and to tell them about the love of God once again through music. Music is a great tool to reach people. So we're gonna take this time to reach into the hearts and lives of people that at once had tasted the goodness and the glory of God and they're just, you know, I had a couple of bad years about 15 years ago. I don't know about you, it was a couple of bad years. And you know, I love God, but I didn't, I didn't people, I wasn't sure about people. You know, I was left for dead. Anybody been there? And then the Lord somehow resurrects that spirit. And he, here's the point. He wants to restore that first love in our hearts that we've lost. So you can get so callous to religion and to business and everything, then you lose the heart. Why are you doing this? Why do you do what you do? It's a good question, isn't it? God asks me that question almost every day when I, I talk to him like I talk to you. And he says, uh, Greg, <clears throat> and why are you doing that? Just clear as a bell. See, it's the motives he's after. So let's check it out and see if God is trying to bring us back to a place that we've once lost that, that fresh and alive. And faith with it. To believe God for anything. How big, how big is your God? Too big. Hey, too big. <laughs> I think there's a song there. Cindy, <laughs> so I just want to tell you. 
if you hang in there and purpose yourself and your life, purpose your in your mind and your heart to be a God pleaser. And, and not a man pleaser, but to be a God pleaser. And to chase after the things of God and seek the heart and the mind of God. You get to where He ultimately wants to take you. It's going to be a journey. But there are people that will help you along the way. So I don't want to be a man pleaser. I want to be a God pleaser.